good morning. Let's make the morning coffees to put in the fridge. Well, hi, if you're new here, my name is Lizzie, also known as Curvy Girl Cruising, and I'm a cruise ship singer who's currently not on a cruise ship. She is on vacation. I am back in my London flat. It is currently 9.24 in the morning, and I'm about to go to the gym because I was getting in a really good habit when I was on the ship, so I've been trying to do it before I even go for breakfast in the morning. Gym, shower, breakfast, start my day, so let's do that. I have an Alani new at the ready. I had an empty gym the other day and that was really nice. So let's hope that I have the same situation again. Let's go. So, I stopped recording as someone else came into the gym. Oh, you can even see them there, bless them. The gym is very much now empty again, but I'm gonna quickly run to the shop because me and Martin have been pretty good with food. We've run out of lettuce, and at the moment I've been having like a chicken Caesar salad for lunch, and that's been doing me pretty good. Now half 10, so I did okay. I've noticed when I've come back from working on the ship, when I come back to the flat, is that I put on quite a bit of weight when I come back home, and that's because I'm eating all my good foods, and really excited to be back, but what I actually need to do is keep maintenance on it. This time round, I'm not obviously gonna say my weight, but at the moment I'm something and a half, and my aim is to basically not go into that next stone. Obviously I'm still gonna go out, I'm still gonna drink, I'm still gonna bake, but also just incorporating the gym. Let me quickly pop to Tesco and have a shower, and I'll see you back in the flat. So I did have a shower, and then I did nothing for the rest of the day. It is currently 10.30 and I'm shattered. I'm gonna start going to bed. I'm gonna play a bit of Sims. I'm ready to film some stuff tomorrow before seeing an old friend. I'll see you in the morning. Bye. Well, good morning, it's Tuesday. I've just woken up, as you can tell, by this really flattering thing on top of my head. I bought these flowers for myself yesterday and I completely forgot to put water in them. It looks like Martin did for me, so that's really lovely of him, bless him. Now let's have a coffee. I have release me stuck in my head and it's because it was on UK versus the World Drag Race and it's now stuck in my head. Basically, I am meeting a friend for lunch. This vlog has definitely never seen him and I've not seen him properly since genuinely could be like nearly four or five years. Wow, it's just been a really long time and the second you see him, you'll be like, ah! If you know who he is. If you don't know who he is, you're just gonna be like, who is this bubbly man? What I've been doing on TikTok is actually trying out on every single item of clothing in my wardrobe because we are actually gonna have to move out of this flat before I leave for my next contract. Basically, I'm kind of doing, if it's not going on the ship with me in my suitcase, it's going on vintage. I did my trousers, my skirts, my shorts, my dresses, and today is tops. Even though I'm getting rid of stuff, I have been buying some stuff from Vinted and that's not good. I'm gonna finish this coffee. I'm not gonna have breakfast because where we're gonna go for lunch is gonna be so carb heavy. I'm gonna need the space. I'm not gonna lie to you. You get the gist i'm literally just trying on every single thing in my wardrobe i have to leave in about 20 minutes anyway so i'm gonna have to edit this whilst i'm on the tube my outfit of the day because you'll see it later on but i did a little video so i'm gonna pop it here i got this waistcoat from cider and i'm absolutely obsessed with it i do very much feel like i'm in my parent trap can't remember the name of the babysitter but i feel like i'm her and she is me and i'm trying to be her at all times so We can say hello to the camera probably afterwards, but right now, it is time for food. I 
it's only what works for them, not for you. Yeah, exactly. exactly. So Which cute. is shit. We love that. Um, and then we got it's not woken up at 6am. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> oh, you are in the trees. Yeah. Yeah. Cute. Um, so. This is the moment. I do that because that was the, uh, more about yeah. Star Jump. I think that's a Jordan Star Jump. Yeah. Okay. There's a rap section. I have to rap. <laughs> I have to rap. Do the park boys around the outside, around the outside, mm. around mm. the outside. Mm. Do the park boys. That's it, yeah. Hit a hip, hop, hip, hip to the hip, 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 yeah. Maybe you should do that one next time. Rhythm to the boogie the beat. I'm gonna try to move your feet. You can do a little. Yeah. A little tap. Little tap. Little tap. Look. What do you think? Now that that I'm gonna stop recording. So I'm back in the flat. Just had a lovely lunch and then went for coffee with Ben and he's an absolute doll um, but I've just had a message from Cal as well so you know Cal the drummer of my last contract he is in Cozumel and he's got half an hour free so I'm gonna FaceTime him hello hey, ladies. oh my goodness I missed you I missed you too how are you oh, I'm just in Cafe Coco for the last time sipping coffee well I was gonna record a little bit of me and Cal having a little FaceTime but the Wi-Fi has just gone, so. Oh, I really wish you could see his little face. Oh. Hey vlog, I am in the biggest stress. I'm putting you this way because I need to do my makeup at the same time. It is Wednesday. I have been in a little hole. I made a new intro that says like, each contract's a different season, kind of like a TV series. All cute, all fun. And I fully have hyper fixated on doing that for the last three hours, three hours. I was meant to go to two dance classes today. I'm currently just quickly getting ready so I can make it to the second one. I'm so annoyed with myself and I don't know what to do because I didn't even finish it all, which is even more annoying. Why? Why am I so stupid? Okay, I've got change. I've got shorts on underneath. I just made it out in time. I've missed the first class. Let's try and get to the second one. Ground floor. Please. I made it with like 10 minutes, so sad I missed the first one, but let's do the second one. You. I'm absolutely shattered, but I'm gonna keep doing it because it felt so good. I'm gonna go home and analyze all the video footage that just happened. It was on my phone, not my camera, but maybe next time I'll put my camera down or something. I'm gonna enjoy this and then get ready because I'm heading over to the O2 today to try some of the Pizza Express's new spring menu. So, cheers. I'll see you on route to the O2. But firstly, I need a spring drink. The weather is not spring. It's not spring. So I'm wearing a striped shirt and Mark's just told me about this whole thing about you shouldn't wear a striped shirt because it looks like you work here and the chef is literally wearing a striped shirt so we're doing well. Okay so we've got spring cocktails as well so I'm gonna try them all. That raspberry Cosmo spritz. I like that one. This is like a pink with vibe. Pim's Summer Cup. It's nice. <laughs> This 
one is gonna be my favorite. This is elderflower gin and tonic. That's nice. That's nice. I like these two. I we ordered a lot. We ordered a lot. I'll pop back in when food is here. It's looking good. Get it. <laughs> it's so good. Arrive and it looks absolutely safe. Like, we have left pizza and a half to take home, and it will be eaten at home. Do not think it's going to waste because yeah. it's super buzzed. Super, super thank you, Pizza Express. It was all really good. Really, really happy. Thank you so much. Definitely recommend the Soho. 65. I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it, and I really liked it. So. And then the Raspberry Cosmo Spritz. Those are my faves. For Alex Olsever and Laura the Chef, they smashed it out of the park. But now I'm gonna pack all this food away because we've still got pizza and a half to take back to the flat. So let's do it! We finished off by doing a bit of shopping in the O2. It was really nice. And then we got the tube home because I had to package up all the vintage packages that we'd sold. My friend who was getting married, Charlotte, is in a show called Cruel Intentions in town. And tonight she ended up having to cover one of the lead females in the show. So I hope you enjoy me screaming as she came out for her final bow. Hey everyone, it's Friday. Um, in a quick turn of events, I'm about to work a bar gig, so let's see what happens for like 10 30. But let's go! This is my thing for the day. Nice. Oh yeah, come on, two for two, two for two. Inhale, exhale. <laughs> I'm giving you my customer show now. Ah. Nice. Okay. Oh, it's got serious. It's got serious. Okay. Now time to go back to work. Back to work. Yes, it was fun. Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday. And this is all my every packages. Whilst I've been back in the flat, I've been decluttering a lot of stuff. I've been putting a lot of stuff on Vinted. So I need to go to two post offices. Then I need to quickly grab some bronzer and some concealer. And then I have to pack to go home ready for the wedding. So let's do this. It's currently 11 o'clock. I need to be back here the latest 12.30. So yeah, I've got all these packages here. Let's quickly run. I'm shattered. Happy Saturday. <laughs> okay, so I'm back. That took so much longer than expected. You'll see the footage, but I ended up having to change to different post offices. And the one I went to, the line was wrapped around. I was in there for about 40 minutes. And that wasn't the only post office I needed to go to. Four with every, and then three with impost. So I had to then go into Stratford, which was fine because I needed to get stuff. But it now means I have 37 minutes to pack everything for the wedding. So I'm gonna put you on the side and time lapse my panic. So enjoy. So packed up everything. Definitely think I've forgotten stuff because I was in a stress, but we did it all in 45, so let's try and get on this train. I left the house at quarter two. It's now 20 past three, which means a journey that usually takes 40 minutes took an hour and 20. So that's good. 
I run to Costa and grabbed a drink. Asked for a double shot of coffee in it. And let's see what time I get home. I was meant to get a 3.02 train. And now I'm gonna have to get a 4.02 train. And that already was changing different platforms multiple times. So yeah, it's gonna be a stress. So I'm gonna close off this vlog here because it's gonna be Easter Sunday and I'm spending time with my family this week as well as the wedding. So I'm gonna kind of vlog as much as I can in this following week. So I just wanted to close this one off before we started off tomorrow. But just a massive thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed the London vlog as well as the cruise stuff. If you do like what you see, please like and subscribe. But yeah, thank you so very much. I'm gonna love and leave you. Finish off this hot chocolate and go to bed. Bye.